Hello and welcome back guys. In this video, I would be explaining you what is a psychrometric chart and how you can see various values using psychrometric chart. So psychrometric chart is a graphical representation of the physical properties of the air that is at what particular temperature what is the specific humidity what is the relative humidity and what its enthalpy also sensible heat factor and uh, so let's begin and understand how to find the values using psychrometric chart so before starting with the video if you are new to this channel please subscribe my channel by pressing the subscribe button below also if you like this video please share it comment if you have any doubt also check out my other videos all the links are given in the description do follow me on facebook twitter and google plus all the links are given in the description and uh, if you find this video helpful please like the video now starting with the video so this is a psychrometric chart the dry bulb temperature is on the x axis specific humidity is on the y axis and this is the enthalpy these lines these lines they denote enthalpy from 0 up to 95 and dbt is from minus 5 to 43 degree celsius these lines these lines that have more slope these lines this is the specific volume meter cube per kg all right and the lines that have more slope that have less slope that is these lines that are more parallel to the base like this these lines these lines denote the wet bulb temperature also they denote the enthalpy in kilojoule per kg of dry air and these lines these lines represent a specific volume in meter cube per kg also you have these lines just like curve approaching upwards these denote the relative humidity these denote the relative humidity in percentage it is given in percentage also this side you have the sensible heat factor sensible heat factor from 0.35 to 1 there are special point denoted by this circle this is known as alignment circle it is at 26 degree celsius and 50 percent relative humidity this is the circle so this is the these are the basic properties that are shown on the psychrometric chart you have to remember that the psychrometric chart is drawn at 1 atm pressure or 760 mmhg or 1.01325 bar this is at the standard atmospheric pressure if the pressure is given in the question is different then you cannot use the psychrometric chart you have to use the relations in the next video i would be explaining you how to solve those questions in which the pressure is different from 1 atm now if you have any point suppose you have inlet and outlet conditions so majority inlet condition is given like 30 degree or suppose example 30 degree 31 degree and 40% uh, RH so you have to go here 31 degree this is 31 degree and you have to go upwards suppose it is 30% RH so this is 30% this is 31 so this is the point you mark this is the point this and exit condition suppose 20 degree and 15% RH so 20 degree and 15% RH this is the point this is the point you join then various questions can be 
find out the sensible heat factor find out the sensible heat find out the latent heat find out the grand sensible heat factor and find out the moisture condensed find out the specific humidity at particular point and so on mainly what i mean to say that two points will be given to locate on the psychrometric chart whether the enthalpy will be given and dbt that is dry bulb temperature will be given so you can locate or dry bulb temperature and wet bulb temperature will be given so you can locate or dry bulb temperature specific humidity can be given so you can locate or wbt and specific humidity can be given then also you can locate the points so mainly two points will be given and they should be given in order to locate the point on the psychrometric chart and uh, sensible heat factor this is majorly asked in many questions that is sensible heat factor you have to calculate for the apparatus so sensible heat point is sensible heat upon latent heat plus sensible heat so you can find suppose you get two points here one and two you join these two so from here to here it is sensible heat and from here to here it is latent heat this is the total heat so how you measure the heat that is you measure the enthalpy values suppose your point lies here so you will go like this and you will measure the value from here to measure the wbt and enthalpy they both lie on same this axis so to find the wbt you will go suppose you have to find the wbt suppose you were having the condition here 25 degree and 30 percent rs suppose here you have ha having the condition so correspondingly you will move like this and you will see that the wbt is 14.3 around and the enthalpy is further you move is around 41 so this way you can find the enthalpy and wbt suppose the point is 30 dbt 20 percent rx and you have to find the specific and specific humidity so you have to move you have to find for first point then you move horizontal so your specific humidity lies somewhere here so it is between 0 0.004 and 0 0.006 it is around 0 0.00 5 2 all right so this way you can find out the various points you can locate the points on psychrometric chart and again remember that the psychrometric chart is drawn for one atmospheric pressure or in 760 mmhg or 1.01325 bar if the question it states that the inlet condition are at this pressure or outlet condition are at this pressure so you can't you can't use the psychrometric chart this is the trick examiners use and they know that students will do with psychrometric chart and you will get the answer wrong so you have to use the properties you have to use the standard formulas you have to use the values and not the psychrometric chart for solving such questions in which the pressure is not one at one atmospheric in the next video i will be explaining you how to solve those questions also in the upcoming video i will be explaining how to draw the psychrometric chart that is construction of psychrometric chart how the psychrometric chart is drawn in actual all right so this is also a good question that how a psychrometric chart is drawn and uh, there is not a single video in the internet on the internet so i would be making that and uh, i hope you have understood what is a psychrometric chart what are its various lines depict what are the axes depicting how you locate the point and uh, other things so if you have found this video helpful please like the video comment if you have any doubt also share the video and if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe my channel by pressing the subscribe button below check out my other videos all the links are given in the description follow me on facebook twitter google plus all the links are given in the description at the end and uh, i hope 
you guys enjoyed and stay tuned in the next video i would be explaining you how to solve the psychometric questions till then take care bye bye wherever i go wherever i see i remember